Hello and welcome back. In case you can't gather, today we are doing Excalibur Umbra. Now, Excalibur Umbra is obviously the new shiny frame that a lot of people are ranting and raving about. He has been in the works for over a year and we've finally got him. Shocking, I'm aware. Now, Excalibur Umbra, in order to actually get him, you have to do the sacrifice on us. All I'm going to say, no spoilers, just in case you haven't done it. And once you have him, you will notice that there are a slight few differences between Umbra and Vanilla. For example, Umbra has higher armor, 300 versus 225, higher energy at max, this will be 225 over 150. He also has two more polarities already on him, however, Three of them are the shiny new Umbra polarities. They look like a weird trident, the easy way to say it, plus a V. And he will have an Aura polarity, which will be a V compared to Excalibur's Zero. And the difference between Excalibur Umbra and Excalibur Prime is the Umbra will have one more polarity. So Umbra has four polarities, Prime has three. But of those four, like I said again, three of them with the Umbras, one V, and Prime has two Vs and a D. So that's the main difference. You then could add in slight facts, obviously, like it's a Prime, or it's kind of a Prime is obviously a Prime, so when it touches a Death Orb, it will get the energy release. Umbra, not so much. Umbra, when you press 2, rather than holding the sword up and blinding enemies, he screams. This will, for all intents and purposes, do the exact same as the Radiant Blind from both Prime and Vanilla Excaliburs. However, in the presence of a Sentient, it also removes their Damage Adaptation Mitigation Mechanic. Completely wipes the slate clean which is quite nice to be honest we actually have a frame that can do something about the sentient damage mitigation other than using frost which is just so much easier anyway but we actually finally have Excalibur Umbra oh my god it's also been renamed to Radial Howl rather than Radial Blind but yeah and for me the final feature of Excalibur Umbra and this is quite a weird one I quite like the idea of this but it can be a bit janky at the moment when you enter your operator the Excalibur Umbra pretty much goes into sort of like a sentinel mode and he runs around and shoots things and stabs things and does all the good stuff for you so it's quite unique in that respect. I do feel we need more and more frames like this. Now, due to the fact that when this was released, you can now mod your exalted weapons. So I'll be doing a few more videos showing my exalted weapon builds. And because of such, I've also had to change a few of my builds because for me and the way I played a lot of these frames, other things have become a lot more viable. Now originally I never used to like Chromatic Blade, I could get more damage out of other means, but now that I can mod the actual Exalted Blade and actually have a melee weapon separate instead of having what has become known as a stat stick, I can actually have so, so much more damage by using Chromatic Blade. So guess what I've gone for? A Chromatic Blade build and the way that I have gone about this has actually enabled my Excalibur Umbra to become quite resilient. Here I have six Corrupted Heavy Gunners and six Eximus Corrupted Heavy Gunners at level 155 and as you can see health not really moving too much it does drop down a little bit but it shoots straight back up there not really having a hard time. Damage wise I'm doing alright, it could be a little bit better but it's not about the damage, it's all about outlasting the enemy. If I really really wanted to do damage due to the way 
of the exalted blade mechanics all I've got to do is walk up to them and give them a little poke and that will pretty much kill these guys pretty friggin quick however 12 corrupted heavy gunners that's not really too much of a big deal okay let's go for a hundred how do I last against a hundred of these guys well I'll put it this way they don't kill me that's for sure but it would have ended up being about a 25 minute video to show me killing these guys so I did cut it short but I do it, I do show that I am living through these guys they're not doing anything particularly special to me I am alive I am happy I'm having a good time I'm in my element the odds are eternally in my against me and I will overcome them because that's what I do that's how I play and look at that straight back to pretty much full health after getting a nice little beat down but eh, never mind it's all in a day's work so how exactly have I gone about doing this absolute ridiculousness with Excalibur well to be perfectly honest you're only actually able to do it while you're in Exalted Blade because um, Chromatic Blade plus Healing Return but the build I've gone for Steel Charge, Power Drift, the three new mods as you can see I've got Umbral Intensity, Umbral Flow and Umbral Vitality these work very similar to how set mods work you might notice that I have Damage Resist or Tau Damage Resist this is Sentient style damage or sentient elemental damage so with all three you are more resistant to sentience ever pushing forward the sentience being the new thing prime continuity chromatic blade hunter adrenaline prime flow transient fortitude also arcane grace and arcane guardian now as for the umbral exalted blade sacrificial steel and sacrificial pressure that's basically a crit chance and your overall damage berserker organ shatter shocking touch healing return condition overload and primed fever strike for staying alive and dealing more damage anyway that's me thank you very much and i'll see you guys pretty damn soon have fun no dying i hope this build helps you out i really do i've had quite a bit of fun with it in the meantime have fun and i'll see you soon Ta up